Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new fashion video. I really wanted to create this video. I have been asked a few times on Instagram now um, by a few people what exactly to buy when going into spring and I feel like I um, kind of deliver a lot of content around building a capsule wardrobe, the essential basics to have in your wardrobe and I try to do this seasonally so that I can keep up to date with what's actually in store and available to buy currently. But this video is kind of a bit like that with a little bit of a twist. I thought I would talk about the top 10 items that for me personally, I am looking at now to buy going into spring that really kind of encapsulate a little bit of the trends, a little bit of the kind of more capsule dressing and more just, I'd say more personal to my style. So I am going to go through the top 10 things I think you should be looking out for now to buy for your spring wardrobe for 2024. Okay, number one, and it is the colourful trainer. It's that time of year now, going into spring, when I start to incorporate a little bit more colour into my wardrobe. Now, for me personally, I will say my bread and butter and my comfort zone is very much neutrals. However, when it comes to adding in colour, one of my favourite ways to do it is by including a colourful accessory. So whether that's a pop of colour um, with my bag, my shoes, it's just my favourite way to do it. It means that I'm not revolving my entire outfit around a colourful item in my wardrobe. It makes the items that I buy with more colour far more wearable. And it's just the way I like to do things. However, this year for 2024, we are seeing so many of the colourful trainers just coming back in and I just love this trend. So the main sort of brand of the trainer that we're seeing are definitely the Adidas Sambas and the Adidas Gazelles. I love these, they're a really great slimline trainer. This is a pair of Adidas Gazelles I purchased recently, this kind of raspberry red colour and I just love these. I even bought a little um, dark kind of burgundy bag just to match with these. They're a really great way to add a pop of colour to any outfit, even the outfit I'm wearing now, I'm actually wearing a bit of double denim, adding these in, just throwing them on for a bit of fun. It's so easy and like I said, you can just throw them on with absolutely anything. They add a little bit of a, that kind of cool girl trend style to an outfit. And there are just so many colours out there. And to be honest, I've got my eye on a couple of other pairs. I would really love a green pair. I've always loved the colour green and that pop of green, I just think would go so nicely in my wardrobe. And we're also seeing a lot of pink. I feel like winter was very much the time for this burgundy red. And don't get me wrong, um, the red trend isn't going anywhere for spring. However, we are starting to see a lot more pops of pink as well. So if you are a pink lover, then now is the time to treat yourself to that pair of pink trainers. I just, yeah, I love this kind of trend. But yeah, this is definitely my kind of way of adding colour into the wardrobe. Okay, so number two, and the next thing that I feel like is an essential purchase for spring 2024. And that is the wide leg jean. Wide leg is officially on trend. And to be honest, a wide leg jean in my wardrobe personally is definitely more of a capsule piece. It's definitely one of my favorite styles of jeans for me to wear. I feel so comfortable in a really baggy, loose, wide leg jean. I love wearing tighter, more fitted tops with them to kind of balance them out. I love pairing oversized jumpers with them. There's so many ways to style wide leg jeans. So now is definitely the time. These ones that I've got here, these are absolutely unreal. These are from Reese. I'll link these ones in the description box because, oh my gosh, the fit of them is just insane. Absolutely love them. Wide leg jeans as well will also look great with your trainers, with your colourful trainers, if you are going to invest in some. I think they're so cool. I've popped a few ways of kind of how to style them up on screen. 
Um, but yeah, expect to see me living in my wide leg jeans. Okay, next up, I wanna talk about a jacket that I feel like everyone needs in their wardrobe. Now, I was actually going to include the infamous trench coat. However, I do feel like that would be playing it a little bit safe. I feel like a trench coat, it just pops up in every single video, doesn't it? Every single capsule wardrobe video, people bang on about trench coats. So do you know what? I'm not gonna do it. I feel like we know by now, don't we? We know a trench coat is a classic. So I'm kind of giving you an extra bonus one with mentioning it here. But the actual jacket that I wanna talk about is the vintage leather jacket. Now I actually own two vintage leather jackets. I have one in black and I also have one in brown. Now why do I emphasize the vintage? I feel like there are plenty of leather jackets that you could probably buy that give off that more vintage vibe. But let's be honest, buying vintage, it is more ethical, it is more sustainable. And I just feel like nothing beats that kind of slightly battered, worn in leather. I am not here for the shining new biker style jackets currently. They just look a bit too new and polished for me. And I think the beauty of a leather jacket, it should look like you've just grabbed it out of, I don't know, your dad, your granddad's wardrobe. And that I think is the real beauty of really nailing that kind of cool girl aesthetic. If that's your thing, it's gotta be vintage. So obviously you can visit vintage stores and have a look what they've got. Personally, I'm lazy. I like to do it all online. And I would say ASOS Marketplace is the best place to buy a vintage leather jacket. There's so many to choose from. And yeah, this, I think both of mine came over from America and the delivery was super quick. They came, yeah, I'm just so pleased with them. I reach for these all the time. I'm not gonna lie, I know it sounds really, really sad to admit it, but I feel so cool when I wear them. I just think nothing looks more cool than that oversized vintage jacket, gold jewelry. Honestly, I don't know what it is, but I just feel pretty cool when I wear them. And I do feel like it is that real, it girl jacket to have in your wardrobe. As I said, if you just wanna make your outfits look a little bit more edgier and just add a little bit more of a vibe to them. Vintage leather jacket, guys. I thought I'd quickly show you my brown one as well because I just, I couldn't help myself. I actually bought the black one first and loved it so much that I wanted a brown one too. And again, it's just great. I love the insides of them, the older jackets. They're just, they don't make them like this anymore, guys. I really, really love them. So yeah, had to include it in this video. Next up, I know this is gonna be a real love-hate one, but for me personally, I love them. That is the kitten heel. So tiny, tiny, tiny little heels. This is definitely more of an on-trend look, but again, I feel like a kitten heel can definitely be part of a capsule wardrobe. If you're someone that doesn't enjoy wearing a high heel, you choose comfort, then these are for you. This pair that I've got is actually from Zara. I got these, I think I got these last year, but there are so many really cool kitten heels now. I'm definitely gonna invest in a few more pairs. I just feel like when you want your outfit to be slightly elevated, you don't wanna stroll around in high heels, but you do want a little bit of a, a little bit of a pick me up. These are just the perfect shoe. Super on trend right now. I'm gonna do the same things I did in the last one where I mentioned a bonus one. Obviously ballet flats are still really on trend. So I've kind of snuck that one in there as another little extra one. But I didn't want to go for that one again because I've already spoken about ballet flats recently. So I did really want to give the kitten heel a mention. And I feel like if you are looking to update your shoe wardrobe or your shoe drobe, and you want a couple of new pairs of shoes that are kind of gonna change the look of your outfits, I definitely recommend going for a cool pair of kitten heels and maybe bring the trends together. Maybe do a colored pair of kitten heels. I'm kind of feeling a red pair of kitten heels would be a really cool addition to my spring wardrobe. Okay, I never thought I'd be telling you to run out and buy this particular item, but I'm gonna. It's the cardigan, guys. The cardigans are having their year this year. Who would have thought it? The cardigans are what the cool girls are wearing. 
There we go, I said it. Cardigans are no longer grandma chic. They are cool girl, Pinterest girl chic. And I'm here for it. And again, I'm loving all of these kind of new ways of styling cardigans. I've seen a lot of people kind of just doing up the top two buttons and leaving it open. I've seen people doing them right to the top and wearing them kind of in a bit more of a preppy style. I've um, seen people wearing them open. And I'm just here for it. I'm really here for the cardigan trend. This one that I've got here is from And Other Stories. Everyone has gone wild for this, by the way, over on my Instagram. I never thought people would be going wild for a cardigan, but hey-ho, people seem to love it. And again, I'm kind of craving maybe a colourful pop cardigan. Maybe red, maybe even pink. No, actually, yellow. That's what I want. Yellow is the trending colour for 2024. I love yellow. Imagine a really cool canary yellow cardigan. I mean, it's not for everyone, but I think it's a bit of fun, isn't it? So, yes, guys, now is the time. Stock up on those cardigans. Also, guys, just popping a little disclaimer here. I apologise if the light has been changing slightly throughout this video, but I don't know what's happening with the weather today. It's going from light to dark, so I, I have had to pop the lights on in this room. So, apologies about the little lighting issue, but carrying on with the video. This next one is something that I thought would never be a bit of me, but it now really is, and I'm really excited to style them in so many ways in the spring, and that is the maxi skirt. I never used to be a skirt wearer, full stop, short, long, midi, maxi, mini. They just weren't for me, but over the last sort of 12 months, two years, they've really, really grown on me. And I just feel like I've become more comfortable now in styling them. And especially with pairing them with more things I'm comfortable with. I think um, the skirt kind of, you kind of instantly think girly, but now that I'm more confident pairing them with more, I'd say more boyish things, my blazers, my leather jackets, I have really found my comfort zone with styling them and maxi skirts and dresses are completely on trend for this year so I just feel like I'm going to get even more comfortable with wearing them now that they are everywhere so um, I've actually got one here to show you so this one is actually just from New Look it is my denim maxi that I just absolutely adore but I'm not just talking specifically about denim maxis we're going to be seeing maxis in all kinds of materials we're seeing a lot of of sheer fabrics as well not sure the sheer fabric is for me but I'm definitely loving the kind of more cotton maybe more floaty skirts particularly for kind of late spring early summer I feel like that will be a really great piece to take away uh, on holiday so yes the maxi skirts are definitely having their moments which then brings me on to my next point as I have briefly just mentioned and that is the maxi dress I am all for a maxi dress I just think there's something actually quite sexy about being able to be covered from head to toe and still feel and look really feminine. I love a maxi dress. And again, the fact that they are just trending for this year just means we're gonna see so many versions of this, which I'm really excited for. You can really grunge them down. You could throw on your vintage leather jacket over the top and grunge it down a little bit if you do kind of lean towards a more boyish way of styling. I know I do personally. I'm not the most girliest of girls when it comes to styling. So um, a maxi dress for me is always gonna be something that I kind of grunge down a little bit. So I also love the idea of pairing trainers with a maxi dress. I really feel like we're going to see a lot of maxi dresses this year and I am just here for it. I feel like I am basically going to echo everything I said about the wide leg jean for this one. So I'm not going to go on too much about this. But it is the wide leg trouser. Now, as I said, I don't want to just echo everything I've just said. I feel like the wide leg trouser can literally be styled exactly the same way as a wide leg jean. They just give a little bit more of a formal approach, but as it is me, I kind of like to contradict my items. So I would be really kind of styling these down. Um, although actually in saying that business casual is on trend for this year, but I would really dress these down. So I'd be wearing them with oversized t-shirts, my leather jackets, my trainers, and I just love how that looks with wide leg trousers. 
I feel like a wide leg trouser is quite possibly one of the most flattering style of bottoms. Whether you're tall, petite, they just work on everyone's frame. And so yeah, a wide leg trouser, again, although they are technically trending this year, they're definitely a staple piece in everyone's wardrobe. Whatever the year it is, whatever time of year, I always get a lot of wear out of my wide leg trousers. Okay, this next one is definitely more of a capsule piece, but again, still trending, so still definitely an essential to get for spring 2024 if you don't yet own one, and that is a tote bag. Now, tote bags, there's a reason they're so popular. They're sturdy, they're spacious. You can fit everything in them, just throw everything in, you're good to go. I would be looking at the more kind of understated, more quiet luxury ones. So maybe a really nice leather tote bag. As we go into the summer, you can definitely move towards the more basket style um, tote bags. But I'd definitely be looking at more of a leather one for um, the spring. Maybe a nice tan brown leather tote bag. I think that would go so seamlessly into everybody's wardrobe. They're definitely a staple, I think, definitely an essential, um, but expect to see a lot more of them. As I said, they are trending. So if you are looking for a new bag for the spring, then I definitely recommend having a look at some really great tote bags. I will link a couple in the description box that I like, but you don't even have to go designer. There's some really great high street alternatives as well that I've seen on the market at the minute. So yeah, you don't have to spend a small fortune to look stylish. And finally, this one is definitely more of a trend, but I'm really loving the modern way of um, styling these. And that is the kind of tailored cinched in peplum waist uh, tops that we're seeing. Not just tops, we're seeing them in dresses and everything, but specifically I'm gonna mention the tops. Now, anyone around my age will remember that time do you remember the top shop peplum tops that would literally flare out like a skirt here? We're not talking about those. Though that kind of peplum is staying way back there where it belongs. We are seeing a lot more of a tailored, structured peplum top now. A lot more sleek and defined. We're not talking frills and fancy things going on here. And I am just loving this trend. I actually recently bought a two-piece for the spring, a gorgeous white waistcoat with this tailored waist and the matching shorts. Oh my gosh, for spring, summer, it's gonna be so, so nice. But there are so many ways I've seen people styling these. They pair really great with your wide leg jeans and your wide leg trousers. They just give a modern take on this trend. And yeah, as I said, expect to see a lot of these going into the spring 2024. I know they won't be for everyone. I feel like a lot of the kind of more Pinteresty fashion girls are gonna absolutely run with this. However, they are really flattering form of top. So this is my little gentle nudge of encouragement to mainly just when you're out and about try one on and see what you think they can really be easily styled up or down great for maybe a night out a really nice fitted peplum tailored top with matching trousers or matching shorts. I think that's just such a vibe. It's so nice, I just love that. And that's it guys, that brings me to the end of my video. That is my top 10 essential spring purchases for 2024. Whether you are wanting to be on trend, update your capsule wardrobe, those are the items that I would be specifically looking out for round about now. So I really hope you enjoyed this kind of video guys. Um, let me know what you've got your eye on purchasing for the spring. I know I've definitely got a few more like colourful purchases in mind to update my more neutrals in my wardrobe. But yeah, let me know. But anyway guys, I'm going to end this video here. So as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.